DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, hope you're all well. It's Sunday morning and it is some like just past 10 a bit. And I just finished uh, with the Christmas decorations. Yeah, of course, in the daytime, Christmas decorations. Oh, I forgot to bring these down. Put these away. The tie wraps. Yeah, I mean, tie wraps are a godsend for so many things. Yeah, I've just garroted. I've just actually tied up this the snowman. Yeah, he's a prisoner at least until the 6th of January. That's when we take things down at little Christmas. And here, yeah, these are just tied together. I even tied down the little the little rabbit because when we had a really big windstorm, uh, he, he fell down and uh, yeah broke broke uh, or at least yeah cracked uh, his ear so yeah we'll see anyway so that's uh, that's what it looks like I got to put out I have a little Santa actually I forgot to put him out so I have not finished putting up the Christmas decorations oh well anyway so we got the lights and so on and the trees inside so yeah we're just starting the the silly season again I say that because you know, December, when you're, I'm almost going to say when you're working, December is a horrible month. You've got all these end of the year things. Luckily, I mean, actually one of the positive things with, with COVID is there less, there's less Christmas parties and things like that. Christmas outings, people absolutely have to see you before Christmas and stuff like that. We still have actually for the, uh, for the members of the, I was going to say the, the staff or what we, we have something I think on the 20th, uh, in a big room where we'll have, I guess we'll have drinks, but uh, I don't know how it's going to be, because with this new variant, who knows? Maybe they'll, maybe they'll cancel it. I don't know. I really don't know right now. I mean, I've been away for two and a half weeks. But uh, I'm looking forward actually to be back because, uh, you know, there's a difference when you're on a so-called sick leave and when you're on vacation. When you're on a sick leave, you feel like, oh, I shouldn't do too much, even though the whole idea of the sick leave in my case was the, well, I mean, there's the weight on the lifting things and the pressure in the eye and all that stuff. But you know, you know, like you, you're thinking like, oh, should I go get something at the store? Oh, well, I should normally be at work. Maybe I gotta like, you know, hide at home or something like that. When you're on a vacation or retired, you don't care. You just, you know, you own your time. I don't know, there's something about that. Yeah. Oh, we've been watching, uh, uh, I think I've mentioned it actually in the last, yeah, I did it in the last video, saying that we've been watching a lot of Mrs. Maisel and it's, on Prime Video, it's been kind of amusing, and uh, I just realized that since I talked about that the last video, I'm going to stay away from it this time. <laughs> oh, jeez! Another thing that comes up at Christmas, though, is uh, all these. Uh, well, I was going to say all these associations that think that all of a sudden, at the month of December comes, and you're automatically rich because it's December. And the spirit of giving is going to just drive you to give money everywhere. And, you know, the thing is, right now, is that uh, everybody, I mean, so many people are asking for money. And there's a lot of scams. I mean, you get so many scams in, for example, in by email and everything, that you end up, you know, saying like, well, do I really, do I really want to give money? Uh, do I know where it's going? Um, and you really have to, I think more and more, you really have to be wise about where you give out your money because so many people are just asking for money and you know some need it, I mean that's clear, but others don't. In, uh, in Lausanne, which is not very far from here, it's about a 40-45 oh, minute drive at the most. I'd say probably a 30 minute drive, it's 40 minutes with the train, something like that. Anyway, whatever. Uh, it's closer to France. Now, are all French people criminals? 
I'll refrain from saying anything. But the thing is, is that actually a lot of the, dare I call them beggars, or even the uh, the roms that are there, so they, we used to call them gypsies, but they're not supposed to anymore. Uh, you know, they live in France a lot of times, and they're very aggressive in their, their begging, so to say. Uh, I have actually been almost uh, forcefully, uh, uh, well, like I was lucky, but it was a bit more and it was like, you know, pull out your wallet or I'll do it for you uh, type of thing. And it's known, sadly, it's a fact that in the evening they pack up and go back to France, where, depending on what they've done, it's way more difficult to, to nab them after. So there's a lot of that. Uh, do we have criminals in Switzerland? Of course we do. You know, I've often heard people say, oh, of course, you think you're all, you guys are all anti-foreigners. You know, there is one thing that people don't always realize when you live in a so-called rich country, um, is that we're not only, I say, a so-called rich country, but we're a very small country. So the borders are never far away. So it's very easy to come, do your thing. And you know, in Europe, borders are way easier to go through than, uh, as a general rule, than uh, a lot of other places in the world. So, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things. So, having said that, you know, like I was saying, Christmas comes, and it's like give, 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 but you kind of forget, at least I think associations tend to forget that, you know, we give money to our kids, we have, well, through gifts or things like that, or meals or whatever, and when it comes to giving, I think, you know, it should be a, a year-round thing, actually, because just giving in that month, it just kind of puts an in, in or, inordinate pressure on people. It does, doesn't it? Oh, is it a rant? Not really. I just felt like chatting, and it just ended up being there. I, yeah, somebody, I'm trying to remember right, is sorry, I've just got a blank on your... Facebook name is it Shadow something? Uh, he mentioned the other day about me walking, you know, and he made a, a joke. I haven't answered the comment yet. I'm sorry about that. But about uh, you know the neighbors looking and saying like, uh, "Oh, Hazel, he's or maybe that's the name he used. Hazel, he's walking with the uh, camera on a stick. Do you think he's sick again?" And you know, it's like, "Oh, just go back and uh, you know, just go back doing what." what you were supposed to do. Was it in Bewitched that there was a neighbor that was always looking and seeing things happening and her husband was like reading the paper and said, well, you just, you know, uh, go back to what you were supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, well, I think I'm going to stop there. I've chatted eight minutes. So I hope you have a great Sunday. Um, we had rain yesterday when it was just above freezing. And I was a bit worried, you know, because it froze in the night. I haven't gone for a walk, you know, see if it's slippery or not. I don't really want to fall. So I hope you have a good Sunday. And uh, we're going to go to our so so called I say go to our so called church service uh, online. We've been close to two years now st streaming our church services. Um, uh, we go to Headington Baptist Church. It's a in uh, in Oxford. So I'm looking forward to to see what they're going to be talking about today. Okay, so that'll be DC signing off. Take care, everybody, and have a great Sunday.